So we were informed on which buildings were occupied and which ones were not. There's currently only two buildings that are occupied and reservation land is actually marked with a sign and fenced and so we should be good going over here. Oh my god, it's Snoopy. I can't close that anymore. Snoopy. It's bird's nests. These are all pretty much the same. It looks like this door got kicked in or something. Little round marks here. Some, that was, I don't even know what you call that. When someone raids, get, gets raided or the police. Wow, this kitchen was completely gutted.
Oh, come on. There we go. Handicap bathroom. I think we might see if there's something else we can explore too, because again, we have an entire town to check out. So, um, this episode might be quite choppy, but that's okay. Carpet. It's like dog poop in here and stuff. Let's see, I guess there needs to be turned up. And this can be turned on. Like the old walls before using drywall. Really shows the age of the house. Of course, I don't know when we started using drywall, so I don't really know how, <laughs> how old this place could possibly be, but. doing that. Kind of hope I'm not messing things up right now. That would suck. It's crazy without a floor. Got some hangers left. like that door. Seems very old school.
Christmas flowers. Poinsettia. The poor people of this town, they just couldn't catch a break. First they find out that some of their children might be, you know, uh, borderline impaired because of the toxicity of this area. Then they get hit with a huge tornado that destroys like 75% of their town. It's so sad. I don't know what that is. It looks like flooring, but it must be like linoleum or something. So I don't know if we had mentioned this or not, but this place was deemed toxic, most toxic town in the US in like the 80s. And I believe in 1980 something, they started scraping, what was it, 10 inches of soil off of every resident's lawn and realized that half measures were not going to be sufficient for how polluted the area actually is so after a EF4 tornado plowed through the town destroying 150 homes and killing six people the town ceased municipal means it's no longer a town a lot of the area is actually controlled by Quapa. It's a uh, tribal police. And that actually was million do millions of dollars that uh, the government was offering people in this town. They called it buyouts. You know, essentially bribing bribing residents to be paid to leave the town and move elsewhere because not only are the rivers polluted it was a mining town so there's tunnels dug all over all over underneath these homes and there's sinkholes out here now looks like that could have been a workshop or something lots of random toilets J contrast thing I guess taking pictures of toilets but I haven't done that yet today. Old suitcase. Hmm. What to step on? This right here. Okay. There's my toilet picture. Mm -hmm. It's 
some old crochet. Some kind of ribbon. So sad. It's an old children's book. Lion King. Timon and Pumbaa. Children lived here. I know. Mm. I saw. This is kind of a big house compared to the others. Yeah. Let's see, we've got a TV guide. Two thousand and one. Two thousand one. Two thousand one. Mm-hmm. One of VHS tape. This still, this one's got handwriting on it. Probably. When the wind blows and starts knocking stuff about, and I start hearing things, it freaks me out. I'm surprised how much is left in here. I don't see any pictures or anything so far. Old cologne, cologne bottle. Concentrated cologne, Charlie. Never heard of it before. Christmas cards. Got a bunch of Christmas cards in here. Sunday, March 31st, 1996. How old is this newspaper? June 25th, 1992. I was two years old. Someone doing some math. It's like a bill or something. Some art. Age four. Happy Halloween. Trying to get where it catches the sparkles, but it's not going to.
There was Kelly. There was Zach. There was Ashley. Four years old. 1998. Yeah. Start 89, 89, 87. Dang. My batteries might die for the first time in an adventure on my cannon. That's okay though. I can't charge it with a cable. I have to plug it into the wall. I imagine that a tornado, the tornado, is probably what messed this all up. I was gonna say, I think Ren went up there. It's an old swimming pool. I almost guarantee. Maybe not, maybe it's... No, this is from a factory. It's an old factory belt, assembly line type of thing. I don't know where to stop. Imagine, imagine being in this house when that tornado came, because that's probably what happened here. You know? Yeah. How f scary, dude. Really scary. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine. I think I'd probably have a different appreciation for storms at that point. Scary. There's a wedding dress. You guys, someone's wedding dress. Unless we have to try to get a manual exposure of that. Let's just try. No, we want to go down a little. Maybe not quite that much, like right there, yeah. Okay. Let's zoom out just a little bit. That's crazy. These poor people. Oh, man. Did you see that wedding dress in there? I did not. There's a wedding dress in there. Look. Oh, wow. Yeah? That is crazy. <gasps> Lizard! You see him? He's gone now. Look at the arch, arched uh, doorway, whatever that's called. I just can't imagine. All my life I've lived in a, in a tornado alley, you know, and I've never seen one. And walking through this area makes me grateful, but I never have, even though I have always loved storms. They have a sweet spot in my 
being. I love the lightning, I love the thunder and the rain. It's almost soothing for me, but I feel like if I was to live through something like this, that might change my perspective. Because this is just absolutely devastating. I can't even begin to fathom And the crazy part is that this is happening to people in the Midwest of the United States every year. Every year, there is some town or farm, farmland somewhere that just gets completely ripped through by tornadoes. And like, this is the inside of someone's house. Used to be. I guess this is why they build brick now because it stands up to the storm, I would imagine. You know, kind of like in Florida, that they supposedly have more and more regulations on what they call block houses because they stand up to hurricanes. This is why people in the Midwest have storm cellars and safe rooms. Like I know this was a mining town and that's like the, the focal point, you know, you see the chat tiles over there, but the, the sadness I feel like comes from the tornado because people were trying to live through that. They were trying to stay here. They didn't want to leave because this was home. Even though they were living in a toxic wasteland, they stayed until this tornado came through and just destroyed everything. And, and that was like the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Thank you. Oh dear. That's interesting. Makes you wonder what that was. kind of a strange setup, that's all, you know? What? And that's just the framing that's left? Yeah. Yeah? Hey, it's got some familiar tiling in here. Yeah. I've seen this tile before. Check that out. That brick peninsula is looking cool. Isn't that crazy and wild though, how like a tornado can tear up just right down the block, these two houses. And then you have a mobile home sitting here that didn't even move. And like, these are like death traps and tornadoes, you know? There's still lots of stuff in here. Dishwasher? Dishwasher. Got some strollers and some Baby bouncers or something? Somebody's, somebody's calling me. Barney's calling me. Hello, Barney? You were my favorite when I was like two. We're exploring right now. Yeah, Please. thanks, no. but we're gonna go explore some more. All right, bye, Barney. Can you get a picture of me before my phone dies? Yeah. On that same spot where you were at? Absolutely. I'm gonna hand this off. We're gonna go get a picture. Hey, that's really cool right there. 
It's like a fitting room. Yeah. Actually, let me see this really quick. Just for a second. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. 